check engine light huh? it's a small problem i'm gonna get fixed soon all right but anyways right now i'm heading to a wash because there's gonna be a little car meet tonight i don't know if you guys heard the chop but Let me just show you guys what it looks like. It's a little dirty here, look. Oh, off-road C6. Bro, I don't know what that is. Bird shit all over it. All dusty. El cut. what up, guys? In case you guys didn't know what it looked like. But anyways, let me wash it real quick. Let me take a picture too while I'm at it. She. Boom, all right. All right, guys, I just wrapped my car. I'm currently still wrapping it. Check it out. I wrapped the wheels, wrapping the fender, door, everything. Let me know if you guys like the new wraps. All right, keep it like this or change it. Let me know if you guys like the new wraps. Here we go. That's more like it, baby. Yes, sir. I gotta slow down, hold up. I gotta get better angles, huh? There we go. It's a little dark. Man, perfect. Oh, okay, a couple spots I missed, but anyways, just giving you guys a quick look around the car because I haven't posted a big update on it, which I will soon, probably this video, who knows? By the end of the video, I'll probably go down into detail of the mods and everything, how much horsepower I made on the dyno. But this is just a little update of how the car looks. Oh my God, I'm gonna get a new splitter, new headlight, or just clean it up. But anyway, oh shit. But anyways, that's how the car's looking right now. Let's start it up. All right, here's a quick startup.
Oh, you doing rest tonight? Nah, I just spanked these tonight, bro. Oh, Lord. I'm to take it easy. I just gotta check engine light. I was like, fuck, I don't wanna risk it. Continue with the GoPros. I'm like, this motherfucker's ready to run it. <laughs> I wish. Nah, today I'm just chilling. I'm just watching tonight. Alright. Yeah. Why? What do you guys got? Beamers, bro. Oh, it's the Beamers? I hear they're fast. I, I never they're alright. Yeah, I, I mean a beamer always wanted to run me, but like I just got it. I just got it running. I gotta retune it, but yeah, I've, I've never ran one, but I see my. I, I hear they're pretty fast. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Alright, but what's done to this one? Oh, it's head cam. You take us too. It's all, all motor. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not a post or anything. She sounds clean, bro. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, bro. Charge C6. We're gonna be doing a 35 roll and a 50 roll. I'm gonna go find the C6, but let's go. Actually, it's not What's about this bed? What's going on with it? What is it? Uh, so this is a Grand Sport. A Grand know. Sport. Uh, it's a base model, but with a wide body kit. But anyways, what's the motor making? What's the description on it, bro? Uh, from what I've heard, it's making slightly over 2,000 to Sli the wheel. Slightly over 2,000 to the wheel? Why? Mm -hmm. Hey, these are both guards, huh? Yeah. About 2,000 horsepower, Jose? What about that one? What about that white one? How much barely, is that one making? Barely over 100. Uh, never mind then. Let's go back to this one. Oh. <laughs> Eric, why are you parked next to me? <laughs> That's a boot. All right. So, I think we should start off with a basic exterior. 
what you can see first other than the car obviously you guys know it's a base model ls2 but what you can see first obviously from the last time i was on the channel i was on some stocks and right now i'm on a drag pack this is the four star d5 drag pack i do have the skinnies up front and some 305s on the rear but anyways let me go through the rears first and then i'll get to the fronts as you can see oh damn anyways so let's start off with the rears these are four star beadlock d5s the wheels are 18 by 10 and then they're wrapped with toyo r888s 305 35 18s i am just borrowing the wheels for now because these used to be on chris's car i'll put up some photos when these used to be on chris's car because we went to a photo shoot and they came out real nice on his c7 but unfortunately chris sold it r.i.p c7 chris but he's getting something new that is classified information so anyways i have the rears i did buy the fronts from him because i am gonna run the same style on the front as the rear just in 17s in the rear i just have the 18s because obviously it looks nice you know but i'm gonna put the 17s in the rear just so i can fit a fatter tire on there right now i mean it, it's good it, it hooks but i just rather fit a, a bigger rear tire but anyways just to finish off yeah the rears are four star beadlock d5s 18 by 10 wrapped with toyo r triple eights as you can see somewhere right here 305 35 18 all right now to the skinnies these are just non-beadlock four star d5s so regular four star d5s 17 by four and a half wrapped with a mickey thompson 26 by 6 17 as you see there you can see how skinny they are right here these are super sketchy to be going really fast and taking turns in oh like i would not trust these at all super scary but honestly like they're just for track use well street too but i mainly got them just for weight reduction you know what i mean but anyways all right that took too much time on the wheels let's get to the motor so when you first see the motor you literally just see the black holly high ram even if you're looking at it from the side look so that is the reason i can't put a hood on if you didn't know there are some people are like oh why don't you have a hood on why don't you put it on i can't but anyways so let's start off with uh, the basic full bolt-ons what i consider full bolt-ons cold air intake long tube headers uh throttle body e54 i mean e85 but i run mine on e54 because that's what i tuned it on anyways let's start off with the cold air intake i have so it is a very ram cold air intake obviously it sucks up air from the grill right here then it goes in through there and then moving on from the cold air intake oh see you can see right here very ram but anyways after the colder intake i do have a nick williams 102 throttle body 102 millimeter throttle body from the throttle body it goes to the holly high ram the high ram is also a 102 got the fuel rails for it with some lsa injectors i had to go lsa injectors to run e85 well e54 same you guys know what i mean anyways after all that i also have pace setter long tube headers they are 178 i believe they're ceramic coated so obviously they don't look too burnt most cars or trucks that run long tube headers they don't ceramic coat them and they just get all burnt and ugly i didn't want that so luckily i got a good price on these long tubes so i did get them ceramic coated other than that i feel like i just ran through that i feel like i'm missing something hmm. oh stall it is stalled damn how am i forgetting i do have a spec out stall for my mods for the whole car it is a 3800 stall from fti um i have a cam that's specced out for my tuner as well for these mod i'm running the ls2r max so a bunch of people that ask me that like oh what camera are you running it chops a lot what cam is that like they just they want the cam because of the chop you know <laughs> It does chop a lot it is a stage four it's a max effort cam i'm not gonna go too much into detail because i am not the smartest i don't know what i'm talking about you want to know everything you want to know everything down to like millimeter bolts and all that you gotta ask eric he's the one who built this whole car but anyways other than full bolt-ons cam stall what am i missing um i did upgrade my fuel pump just to run e54 because you can run the stock fuel pump on these just eventually over time they go out since i did have the tranny and diff out because my torque tube went out we were like all right let's do the fuel pump now so we don't have to do it later um i can't think of what else i'm missing hmm, let me go back in here see what i'm missing oh you know what i am missing i forgot to tell you guys the reason this looks all bootleg and purple in the fuel rails too 
is obviously because I don't have a hood and the sun with this 108 degree weather fucking burns it and makes it look bootleg which is another reason why I kind of do want to get a hood but at the same time I don't because I'm gonna go I'm not gonna tell you that that's also classified but anyways like this map sensor this is a LS7 map sensor this literally used to be like this color like pretty and the sun just burnt it off but anyways the nick williams same thing with the nick williams 102 man this used to be all black like look it used to be like this and now it's all pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh purple and look at those fuel rails oh man oh you know what i ordered a new coolant reservoir so ignore that it started leaking from the side oh, oh look it still is anyways it started leaking from the side but i ordered a new one so that junk is gonna get removed anyways i think i went through everything if i'm missing something just put it in the comments i'll try my best to answer it but for now this is my base model here it is damn should this be the thumbnail it should huh if i am missing something that you guys are curious about just ask it in the comments i'm pretty sure i'll answer it well as best as i can if i can't answer it i'll just go ahead and ask eric and he'll tell me you know because literally this car is mine but technically it's like 50 50 with me and eric because he built the whole damn car i just drive it and buy the parts but yeah technically this is my car but this is eric's whole build literally from the motor down all the way back to the exhaust tips the drivetrain torque tube everything eric put back together eric modded and put together but yeah anyways like i said if you guys have a question put it in the comments um i don't know what else i i feel like i'm missing something i don't think i am <laughs> Bro, I'm on my way home and I for oh my god, my glass is so ugly. I forgot to mention my heads are ported. Hold up, it's too loud in here. Anyways, I forgot to mention my heads are ported. They're ported and polished by Outlaws. If you guys don't know Outlaws, it's like a it's just a nearby shop that's local for everybody in Phoenix. My heads are ported and polished by them. They are CNC ported, so I don't know how I forgot to mention that guy. That's my bad. That is my bad. Feel like I'm missing something. I don't know if I am or if I'm not um but if i am missing something just let me know in the comments um pretty sure that's gonna wrap it up for this video i have been slacking on videos lately but i promise that's gonna stop all right let me just turn it on one last time for you guys bro i, I honestly the chop gets me every time it'll never get old how did i forget to mention i did dino tune it with all out if you guys can guess in the comments how much horsepower wheel horsepower it made i honestly okay i don't know i'll give you like five bucks i'll cash up you five bucks if you guess exactly how much it made and it can't be somebody that already knows what it made so that being said let me turn it on one more time so you guys can hear it Go back real quick. All right, all right, all right. For real, this is the end of the video, okay? Said that like five times already, but this time for real, for real. So I'll try to have another video by the end of this week because I'm pretty sure I have another one I'm editing so I can upload that. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm bad at outros. Like and subscribe if you guys like the videos, if you guys like my car. Questions in the comments if you guys have any questions about it. Other than that, peace out. Follow me on Instagram, one basic ls 2 That's also my, what is it, my MySpace. Oh yeah, yeah, follow me on MySpace. That's my MySpace right there, one basic ls 2 All right, that's the end of it. Peace out.